Are you looking for a better way to play player props or daily fantasy sports? Well, look no further than Prize Picks. Prize Picks is the leading over under daily fantasy game. Why? Because it's so easy to use and win. You can make your picks in under 30 seconds and win up to 10 times your money in one day. Right now, we have a special offer for our viewers and listeners of the NBA Exchange. All you got to do is sign up now and use the promo code NBAEX. Prize picks will match your first deposit up to $100. Yep, that's right. They'll match your first deposit up to $100. So join the over 150,000 others who found a better way to play and download the Prize Picks app today. Welcome back. Thanks for joining us on another edition of the NBA Exchange. I'm your host, Dexter Henry. We are continuing our series of looking at the over-unders for the 2022-2023 NBA season in terms of regular season wins. Last time, we spoke about the Boston Celtics. This time, we're going to talk about a team that doesn't have very high expectations and a team that we're not used to the situations where they don't have high expectations. And I'm talking about the San Antonio Spurs. The San Antonio Spurs, they come in as a consensus across major sports books at 23 wins this year. That is the lowest in the league. We just talked about the Celtics with the highest over under win consensus in the league. 23 wins is the lowest. The 2021-2022 season, if we go looking back, saw the Spurs finished with a 34 and 48 record. They made it to the play in tournament and they lost in the play in round. Okay, so what did San Antonio do this offseason? Well, they traded their best player, DeJounte Murray, shipped him off to Atlanta to the Hawks for three future first round picks. Lonnie Walker bounced. He went to the Lakers to play in Hollywood. Now the team did make some additions. They added Gorgie Dang. They drafted three players in the first round. Jeremy Sochan, Malachi Branham, and Blake Wesley. As well, they also extended Keldon Johnson to four years and $74 million. Now, guys, I like the Spurs draft, and I really like what they did, but this is a young team. Now, as I said before, they're all in on the tank. This is about the Victor Wembanyama, projected number one pick in the 2023 draft. This is about the sweepstakes for him, and the Spurs are all in on that. They were all in on this once they shipped DeJounte Murray out of San Antonio. So what do you think the Spurs can do. How good could they actually be? Are they as bad as 23 wins? Well, right now, I look at them as a team that they have a ton of future assets for a shot at a future star. 10 of their top dozen projected rotation guys are 26 or younger. Now, that's not a recipe for winning in the NBA. We all like youth. We all like to see young teams on the rise. But you know what young teams do a lot of? They lose. And I expect the Spurs to do a lot of that this season. I get the Spurs have a Hall of Fame coach in Greg Popovich, who's never had a losing streak longer than eight games in his career. However, I think he's going to deal with some losing streaks, particularly really early in the year. I can see the San Antonio squad playing better towards the end of the year, but I see them losing a lot of games. It's hard for me to envision them winning more than 23 games this season, to be honest. Although they're generally, as I said, they're generally the anti-tank machine. We know this, but we know what the game is for the Spurs this year, and that is to lose. So, with that being said, I got to go with the Spurs under the 23 wins. I think they're going to be one of the worst teams in the NBA. They've got some vets on that roster. Doug McDermott, right? They've got Jakob Pertl. They've got some other guys. Wouldn't be surprised if you see some of those guys sitting games. You know, teams are inventive with tanking and finding ways to lose. I think the Spurs are going to do that. I think they will start to buy into Greg Popovich's system, start playing a little bit better towards the season. But winning more than 23 games, that's a no for me, man. Got to bang the under on that one. I got the Spurs under 23 wins on the season. What do you think? You got the Spurs exceeding expectations? You see them higher than 23 wins? Are you with me? You got them under 23 wins. Let us know what you think in the comments. That's it for this edition of the NBA Exchange on our Over Under series. We'll be back next time with another team talking with the day we'll have over or under wins for the 2022-2023 NBA regular season. Until next time, y'all. Peace.